Turquoise napkins, okay. Daddy, your turn. I spy with my little eyes something that looks silver. 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 No, Andre's car is silver, look. Yes. I spy with my little eyes something that looks red. Tell me, what's red? Your telephone. Oh, cool, thank you. <laughs> I spy with my little eye. For uh, a camera. Oh, yeah. It's round. Hi. 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 Today, Kava talks about games. How do you feel today? I'm feeling playful. Playful? Uh oh. So, we're gonna talk about waiting activities because, um, you know, it's vacation time right now, so um, you would need to wait for your airplane to arrive, for your bus to come, or some, something else, yeah? So, you would need um, some fillers for your spare time, right? So, let's go um, and play with you. Yes, and the important thing is that you don't need any supplies for these games. You just use your imagination and your voice. And our imagination as well, and yeah. we love playing together. So, use our imagination because we have 10 games for you, 10 waiting games. First game is called What's in the Jar? Uh, first, you decide what jar you are uh -huh. talking about. Is it a big jar or a small jar? And you start putting things into the jar. Mentally. So, yeah, mentally. Sasha, what fits in the jar? Uh, oh, a ball fits in the jar. What kind of ball? Uh, a tennis ball. Mm -hmm. um, a butterfly fits in the jar. If you want to make it more difficult, you use one letter, let's say B, mm -hmm. and we go ball, butterfly, uh, balloon, uh, deflated. <laughs> <laughs> deflated one, yeah. The bug and etc. Yeah. The second game I love to play with you is pat a cake. Pat a cake. Here you go. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and trick it and mark it with B and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> so uh, the point of this game is to touch your opponent um, somewhere, but do not let touch you. You. <laughs> And the words go, pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with B and put in the oven for baby and me. Next game is the one I really like. Uh, it goes like this. And I don't. <laughs> Peas, porridge, hot. Peas, porridge, cold. Peas, porridge, in the hot. Eight days old. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight. <laughs> eight. <laughs> eight. <laughs> very um, playful today. Yeah, I'm good in my reaction, not very good in like uh, different. Uh, but you remember, things. you remember the yeah. game, and we'll write the words down in the comments. So next game is oh, that's a good one. It's called I Spy with My Little Eye. I didn't know which game you want to um, actually talk about. Yeah. Ah, so it was a simultaneous yeah. mm -hmm. thing. All right, so uh, you name a category what you are spying for. Mm -hmm. Let's say we are spying for something big. Mm -hmm. And you say, I spy with my little eye something big. Oh, <gasps> Anya is big, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. So Sasha is big now. But Sasha is bigger, yes. <laughs> I spy with my little eye. A tall building. Mm -hmm. I spy with my little eye a window. We have a big window behind yeah, us, that right? It's big. Mm -hmm. Now let's spy something round. <gasps> round. In the shape of a circle, something round. I spy with my little eye a roll of masking tape. Oh, okay. I spy with my little eye for uh, a camera. Oh, yeah. It's round. I spy 
by with my little eye, your eye. <laughs> it's round. Yeah, the pupil is rounder. <laughs> and it's very surprising to find many things around you that are square, round, triangular, and it really makes the child think of the shapes that surround him. But not only the shapes, right? Maybe oh. uh, some kind of features of the objects. Something smooth, something hard, something rigid, something sturdy, something whatever, something. Or the color. Actually, the most obvious thing is the color. So I spy with my little eye something yellow, something green, something blue. And this is uh, the, very, the, the best option to start this game with, yes, to get acknowledged. Okay, so uh, the other one. Yeah. It's called back drawing. I want Anya to draw on my back. That's why I picked this game. All she, right. She just wants a back massage. Yes. That's why yes. she picked this game. All right, Sasha. Completely ready for the game. All right. How many sticks um, will I draw? Okay. Six. Good. Oh. Mm. Uh, Sasha, what number is it? Three. Good. <laughs> and uh -huh. Sasha, what's this? That's a sun. Yay! <laughs> Great! So okay. you can go for numbers, letters, quantity or shapes or just simple drawings that are easy to recognize. And kids love this activity. And if you had a piece of paper you mm -hmm. could be drawing on the piece ah. of paper what I'm drawing on your back. Oh, yes. In mm -hmm. case you have it. Yeah, okay. that's true. Mm -hmm. So, and the next one is odd one out. Okay, that's true. Um, let's go. So, you pick uh, several items uh, that are in one category and one is an odd one out, actually. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the better way to explain is to play. Mm -hmm. So, let's start. For example, apple, banana, uh, plum, and boat. What boat? Boat. boat. Boat doesn't belong to this line of objects. Mm -hmm. Boat is uh, a kind of transport. It's not straight, so it doesn't fit. Now, Sasha, you'll get a difficult one. Okay. All right. So let's go. Um, stop sign, fire truck, ladybug, and... Um, a school board. <laughs> we play okay, this all, all right, all right, all right. Um, that's um, the, the old blackboard. one out is the blackboard because of the color of the blackboard. Yeah, yeah. yeah the the rest of the objects are red, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I passed. <laughs> you passed. Yes. Uh, so the, this is the. Um, it is more difficult to play in this way because it's not obvious and kid has to think what doesn't belong by color, by shape, by taste maybe mm -hmm. or like what kind of animal it is. Maybe if your child is grown, is, is older, it can be carnivores, omnivores. Oh gosh. Yeah, so you can get as tricky as you feel like. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're sitting for too long. Let's play Simon Says. Mm -hmm. uh, the next game of ours, it's uh, Simon Says. So, who will be Simon? All right. I'm using, I'm using this time when I can make Sasha um, do st um, different moves, being okay. quite I round. Quite <laughs> I spy with my little eyes on okay. round. <laughs> That's me. Simon says, touch your shoulders. Simon says, touch my shoulders. Oh, okay. Simon says, turn around. Simon says, put your leg up. <laughs> Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your toes. Good. Now turn around. Nah, I'm not gonna buy it, okay? <laughs> because you didn't say Simon says. <laughs> no, I didn't say Simon says, but I... <clears throat> I said everything I wanted. <laughs> Thank Already. you, Sasha. Thank you for this game. Uh, so, um, Simon says, do the action. Mm -hmm. When somebody doesn't say, Simon says, then you don't do the action. And if you failed, I would be the one uh, 
who does the actions. Yeah, and the point of this game, you know, when you're waiting for too long, for example, is to move. And it's extremely important before the long flight, for example, to move, be because when you'll be sitting in the airplane, where, where is the lack of space, uh, you won't be able to do it. So it's uh, good for kids. And if you are sitting in the airplane, you can play categories. Mm -hmm. You name a category, let's say, let's go for the clothes. Mm -hmm. right. And one by one, we name an item of clothes. And the person, the last person is a loser. I'm sorry to say this. But anyways, let's go. Uh, clothes, right? Right. Uh, pants. T-shirt. Uh, coat. Dress. Trousers. Skirt. Socks. And on and on. <laughs> Shoes and whatever yeah, else. This game can be quite everlasting. <laughs> yeah, you can go for accessories. It's some. It, it's that vocab that is rarely used. You would go for the belt and hair clip and maybe a bow tie or a tie or a bracelet. So you can again pick a tricky category or a very easy category. So you can go for animals mm -hmm. or you can go for pets, zoo animals, uh, jungle animals forest animals so depending on the level of knowledge of your child yeah or maybe about, um, about the colors right you can name colors or maybe car brands oh, wow the, the boys would love it yeah I, the next game is press the button game so um, what do we do is one of us um, thinks of a certain button on her body and then the other one needs to find it so let's try um, do, do you know where your button is? Yes, uh, I know you can ask... The like, body parts? Yes, make it easier. Let's uh -huh. change my button. All right, uh, is it head? No, not head. Um, arm? It's not arm. Leg? It is leg. Right, left? Right. A knee? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so here's the button. Sorry, make your volume a little lower because <laughs> we are playing. Overexcited, today. yeah. And the point is um, that you actually ask questions. And that's what's cool in this game. Mm -hmm. So you make your child ask questions. And answer questions. So you pressed my body, now I'm mm -hmm. going to do something. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> I can do it myself. You don't All right, go. What did you do? So press the button. Beep. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shall what I press am the I? <laughs> what am I? Uh, oh, what you're am I? a seaweed. <gasps> <laughs> really? It was exactly that word Come in my head. <laughs> Let's play close the eyes game. So mm -hmm. um, we need to look attentively around us before. And then one of us... Uh, Look around for 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Now close your eyes. And now name three objects in this room. Okay. Um, poster frame, mm -hmm. windowsill, mm -hmm. and carpet. And that's good. And now name something red that you saw in the room uh-huh there was an orter rug over there oh, right. <laughs> all right and can you name something rectangular in this room rectangular um a rectangle. okay cell phone is a rectangular cell phone great you can open your eyes Ta -da! so you can see you, you can name objects you can make it more difficult going by colors or going by the shapes so we just combined different options <laughs> into one short game it's a cool game it makes you very concentrated especially when you close your eyes and maybe it's gonna help you um, keep your child calm you know because when you close your eyes it's hard to move or misbehave or <laughs> go crazy. So to calm your kids down or maybe your friends down, <laughs> maybe they're too noisy, I suggest to play such a game. <laughs> uh, I really hope that you enjoyed all the games and I really hope that they will be handy for you and you'll be using them. And we'll continue playing <laughs> while you are pressing well-known buttons to like and subscribe. <laughs>
Okay, oh. so see you in the next video. See you. Bye. Bye.